Okay, so here's where we go into the checklist of documents to start on our forms. The first one here is form DS-230 Part 1, one copy available online. Okay, so our DS-230 here that we have done, uh, we downloaded it off and we filled it out. So we're going to go through this. Complete one copy of this form for yourself and each member of your family, regardless of age, who will immigrate with you. That means all the children, as we know. Please print or type your answers to all questions. Mark questions that are not applicable with an NA. If there's insufficient room on the form, answer on a separate sheet using the same numbers that appear on the form. Attach any additional sheets to this form. Okay. Any false statements of concealment of a material fact may result in your permanent exclusion from the United States. And that is really, really true. Lying on this form is worse than the lie that you're actually tell than the, the truth, right? You tell the truth, I w committed a crime. A lot of times there's a waiver for that. Lying on a form, a lot of times there's no waiver for that. So if, there, if you have a problem telling the truth on this form or any of these forms, call a lawyer because you need to understand if it's going to be a permanent thing or if there's a waiver for it got to tell the truth people um, family name King and Elizabeth other names you use none full name and native alphabet okay we got we've been here before so but that doesn't apply to here in a date of birth age place of birth Ontario Canada good nationality if dual national give both she's not Canada gender female marriage status single Permanent address, United States, where you intend to live, if known. Include the name of person who currently lives there. Okay. 824 Nelson Drive, Nashville, Tennessee, 37210. Where's the name of Timothy Parker? It needs to be here. Sorry. It's not here. But it needs to be here. Address in the United States where you want your permanent resident card. If different from the address from the number 10. Let's hit same. Okay. Also, the telephone number for Tim needs to be here. Uh, present occupation. Bartender. Present address, 1224 Church Street, okay. Telephone number, telephone number of the office, and her email, okay. Spouse's maiden or family name, none, because it is the same as what's already up here. Date, place of birth of spouse. She's not married, don't need to put that. Oh, cancel, spouse's maiden or family name, yeah, so there's none for Timothy. She doesn't have one, so it's all good. Address of spouse, doesn't have one. Spouse's occupation, none. Date of marriage, none. Father's family name, okay. King, James Patrick. Father's date of birth, Toronto, Richmond Street address, if deceased, N.A. there. Mother's family name at birth, Harrison, Doris, Ann. Mother's date of birth, okay. Obviously, she's not deceased. List names, dates, places of birth, addresses of children, none. Places you've lived at least six months since reaching the age of 16, including places in your country of nationality. Begin with your present, re present residence. So in, since the age of 16, so if their fiancé is older and they've moved around a lot, this might be a big deal and they might need to actually attach a separate form. Person named in 14 and 29 who will accompany you in the United States now, none. Persons 14 will follow you at a later date. None. Okay, but here's where we determine whether or not there's actually going to be two of these packages going together, two people showing up at the embassy, or we're just doing one now and one later. This is how they understand that. List below all employment for the last 10 years, the dive bar, okay. List below all educational institutions attended, all educational institutions. So we have elementary school, we have junior high, and we have high school. She's not been to college. So this is what they're talking about, okay? Language is spoken or read. English, professional associations for which you belong, none. Previous military service, no, okay. Um, list states of all previous visas or residents in the United States. If never, write never. Give type of visa status if known. Give DHS a number if any. This is very important. Now, remember, you're going to hopefully have all your immigration documents because you filed a Freedom of Information Act request with USCIS, with the Department of State, with the Immigration Court, whatever documents you need. This is where you're going to indicate, using those documents, the dates of your travel in and out of the United States.
So here we got 1011 to 1211, Nashville, Tennessee, Austin, Texas, as a Canada tourist, a number none. She signs it, dates it. That's great. There's your DS 230.